Hello, hello. It is time for a Fox 411 and Kiss Country Neighborhood News. I'm Harry O. Without Jay today, he's out on assignment. He's taking care of those farmers that are hard at it out in the fields. Uh, and, uh, boy, and they're working hard this year, and they're getting ahead of the schedule. There's been beautiful weather. And uh, yes. Nate Forsberg is joining us here today. You live over there yeah. where there's a lot of farmers. <laughs> yes, there are. Yeah, there are a lot of farmers around where we are, really everywhere in this area. Yeah. I love yeah. harvest oh. season. I mean, I know it's mm -hmm. busy, but I just love harvest season. I remember when I was yeah. on the farm and had the chance. And boy, this the smell of those, uh, all that grain going mm -hmm. into the bins. <laughs> Fun stuff. Smells delicious. Yeah. Nate is, yeah. Uh, yeah, he's from Forest City, but he's also from the Bowman uh, Fine Arts Center. That's why we're here today. We're going to discuss something coming up here. It's going to be a fundraiser uh, here in a little yes. bit. So, but Nate, yeah. first of all, it's good to see you. And uh, I haven't yeah. seen you every single time we've talked about the Bowman Fine Arts Center, but uh, uh, here we are. How's your comedy yes. stuff going? Here we go. It's going really well. It's going really well. We got some stuff on the horizon, um, Mike and I do, um, and uh, some of my other comedy friends. Uh, things coming up in, uh, right. in 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 the new year and soon. So, but yeah. I'm here to talk to you today, Harry, about uh, an event that actually um, uh, the Brick Street Theater, which is our local community theater, and I'm here um, on on behalf of them, um, is going to be hosting. Um, October 26th. It's a really cool event, but it's going to be at the Bowman Fine Arts Center. Right. Um, and that is a, right. an advanced screening of the best Christmas pageant ever, a new movie uh, that new Lionsgate movie. is releasing. Um, it's going to be, yes, a new movie version of it. So it was originally a book written back in the 19, like the early 1970s, the best Christmas pageant ever. So you may have read it, um, you know, Way back when you were in school, Harry, possibly. Sure. I don't know. Uh, oh, <laughs> I know I, I did. <laughs> I remember it. Yeah, yeah. It's a classic. It's a Christmas classic. And lots classic. of theater classic. groups have done this as a play. You know, they've yes. done that as a play, of course. So, they have. Uh, as a matter of fact, this is a, Brick the movie. did it last year. Yeah. Oh, yeah, right. Brick you guys Street. did it last year. That's why. Yeah. We did. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So we did uh, the musical version um, of the 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 theatrical production and then we did right. a little uh, our own little original dinner theater thing kind of inspired by it uh which i got to work on and was also had the joy of being in the the main stage show as well um i played the reverend in 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 the in the play mm -hmm. um but the story is a it's really a christmas classic it's uh the story about a small town that's putting on a a, a church christmas pageant and the worst kids in town the six herdman kids decide that they're going to be in the pageant and and uh, um, and chaos ensues, but it actually, um, it, it results in the town learning what the real meaning of Christmas is and which makes this story so, um, I think so timeless and so, so genuinely funny and heartfelt and wonderful. And a new version, a new uh, uh, family uh, friendly fun, uh, version of the movie is being released nationwide November 8th, but everyone around here can come see an advanced screening of it for free wow. October 26th at the Bowman Fine Arts Center. Yeah. So if you go to the BowmanFineArtsCenter.org website, you can get your tickets today, but there's a lot of other special stuff happening. So Yeah, because Lionsgate uh, should yeah. ring a bell to somebody. Uh, just yeah. because we've seen movies for Lionsgate. Why don't you mm -hmm. um, talk about that? Yeah, well, so yeah, so Lionsgate's releasing the movie nationwide. They're, you know, they're, they, they're in big in the movie business and, um, yeah. and have, you know, major uh, film releases coming out all the time. But this one is special. Um, so the, the director, the creator of the, the show, The Chosen, um, some of your uh, listeners might be familiar with that show. Yeah. Uh, Dallas Jenkins, um, he is directing uh, the, this new version of the best Christmas pageant ever. And, uh, and it, it, it's going to be fantastic. It has um, 
uh, Judy Greer in it. Um, some folks might remember her from Arrested Development. It's a really funny TV show. Pete Holmes, he's a stand-up comedian, really funny guy. Um, uh, Liz Tabish is in it um, as well. She has a role in, in the movie. And she also plays Mary Magdalene in The Chosen. Okay. And she is going to be here in oh. Forest City at the premiere at wow. the advanced screening on October 26th. So uh, we want everyone to come out um, to meet Liz. But here's the other really cool special thing. Um, uh, this whole event is being done for a great cause. Right. Um, kind of like in the spirit of the movie, in the spirit of Christmas. And the spirit of the idea of what this movie is about, which is um, which is uh, bringing in the bringing in those that are on the outside, and 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 with the true meaning of Christmas, um, the love that is at the heart of the true meaning of Christmas, um, uh, welcoming them in. Um, and and how we're going to do that this through this event is we are going to be while there's no there's there's no charge for the tickets what we're what we want to do is use this as a way of raising support for uh for area food shelves so in winnebago county hancock county and then throughout all of north iowa so all we're asking folks to do is just simply bring either in non-perishable food items or make a cash donation in any amount and 100% of that, all of that is going to be going to stock food shelves for the holidays, for the upcoming holidays, for folks throughout North Central Iowa. You know, and and in my experience, um, I think it's great with people bringing in the food, but I think money can actually go further. It really um, can. I mean, it really can, because they can get a pretty mm -hmm. good bulk price. You know these uh, these food pantries; they can get yep. a lot of stuff at, at a really good price. So that's why money can actually go further. But obviously, yeah, you you want to uh, yeah. you know help out with anything you can. Um, obviously, bring right. I would say suggest two to five cans or non perishable stuff. At least. Yeah, absolutely. So here's what we're gonna do. So we have uh, folks from uh, the, the neighborhood food shelves in Win or in Winnebago County, in Hancock County, and then we're also going right. to all the money that's given, we're going to split between those two uh, mm -hmm. county food shelves and then also give to Feeding America North Iowa. So wow. so that the impact of it, to your point, Harry, is even greater because you are absolutely correct. Those organizations can do so much with with just a few dollars that are given. But what what we really want to do with this event, is pack the place out, pack the Bowman out. It seats mm -hmm. about 600 some folks. We'd love to wow. fill every seat. Um, and that's going to fill and, a lot of shelves too. food. Shelves. Exactly. <laughs> that's exactly it. Yeah. So come see a great family movie. Uh, get, get your heart, uh, your heart ready for the holidays. Get ready. Right. Um, again, if you're a fan of the chosen, uh, she plays Mary Magdalene in that, in that right. show, um, which has uh, become a worldwide phenomenon. And she mm -hmm. is, fabulous in it um i take i take it she's probably gonna so many come great on moments in that series. right I she's gonna she's yes gonna we're gonna have a we're gonna be, before and maybe after both right yeah we're gonna do a q a after the screening with her and then there's gonna be an opportunity for folks to meet her uh with a, a, a meet and greet after after the q a so you can come get your get your picture with liz and and nice. say hello so yeah we would love 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 to just pack the place out and fill the food shelves throughout North Iowa. Now we, we need to tell everybody though, they need to get tickets. Uh, it's a ticketed yes. event. Okay. So yes. go to the website for those of yep. you watching, we're strolling it right now, Bowman fine arts center.org. Um, but yeah, but if you're listening to this, just go to Bowman fine arts center.org and you need yep. to register there. Yes, you do. Yeah. So click click on the banner. There's a banner that at the top of the website there, once you get there, um, that that advertises the event. Just click on that. Uh, scroll down the page, follow the instructions to register your 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 seats, to register your tickets. Um, it's um, open seating, but we, we need to know how many folks are coming just right. in, in case we get sold out. We want to be we want to let people know. But again we want to we want to pack the place out so we can fill 
fill uh, um, food shelves across the area and help folks in need uh, this holiday season. Yeah, this is the perfect time of year to to help mm-hmm. out because people are starting to. Uh, I'm affiliated with Rolling Acres Church, and we do that uh, uh, Ruby okay. Tuesday thing. So uh, it rubies, you know, that to come out and we feed, you know, people oh, okay. buy shares and all that stuff. Yeah, yeah. And it's always big. It's bigger. We do it all year round on the second Tuesday of every month, but okay. it, it it but we see a huge number come out for October, November, and December. It's just crazy. Yeah. So uh yeah. But again, cash is uh is king when it comes to even the uh, mm-hmm. packing the food shelves. So we'll do that. Again, go to Bowman Fine Arts Center dot org. Yeah. Liz uh, Tabish gonna be there. I would think she'll probably come out on stage even before the presentation right oh possibly we might we we might uh we're gonna we're gonna get things kicked off so doors are gonna open at six right um and then we're gonna kick uh so you can come 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 in find your seats uh we're gonna get things started at 6 30 um the event's gonna start at 6 30 welcome everybody and then we're gonna start the screening uh probably right around 6 45 and so okay. that we can we can get into the screening, watch the movie together, enjoy that time. And then we'll do the Q and a uh, Liz will be out for that. And then the meet and greet. So, um, is so yeah. the movie about two hours or um, hour and a half, maybe one, one thirty nine, I believe. One thirty nine. How, okay. how impressive is that? Yeah, do impressive. not ask me any other details. Uh, this, in this Cause, I was, Cause how long was the, uh, the, the onstage uh, theatrical? Um, uh, it was, it, that that was, was a couple the, hours, right? Yeah, that was the perfect amount of time. Yeah, whatever okay. it was, it was perfect. <laughs> All right, and that I think it was, the, the show. The show was about two hours too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, yeah, this. I mean, you can go, go, go on Google the YouTube's. Go yep. up to YouTube, find the trailer, yep. and 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 sn- take a sneak peek peek at it. It's it it it's look looks awesome. I'm looking forward to seeing it. Um, well, you know, Lionsgate does a great job. I yeah, some of these because I've actually seen a uh, well, I've seen a few of the Lionsgate films that have been mm-hmm. coming out in the last couple of years. They do a great yeah. job. Yeah, and uh, The Chosen is a great show. If you've never seen it, you can see it on Netflix as well. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think they've had the first season on anyway, but uh, yeah, really, I think they uh, have up through season four there. I don't know if they have yeah. season four. There's so many different platforms you can watch it on, but if yeah, if you go, it's good. It's very good. Yeah. yeah. Check for sure. Check out the chosen. But if you are a fan of the chosen, if you're a fan of Christmas, uh, uh, wonderful Christmas stories, uh, this one is, this one has everything. It's got a lot of great laughs, a lot of, uh, mm-hmm. heartfelt, uh, uh, meaningful moments. So yeah, it's going to be, a, it's going to be a great night. How cool is it that you guys, you know, not only do you do a lot of theatrical stuff, obviously a lot mm-hmm. of plays, musicals, that kind of thing, but now you're getting into where you got stars showing up for movies. I know, right? <laughs> yeah. a, right. And, and like you said, this is like a week before the national goes out. Is that right? Yes. Yeah. So the, the other sneak, uh, other, other previews, sneak peek, sneak peeks previews are going to be happening right. November 2nd. Um, but ours is, ours oh. is extra special. Um, I guess so. We, yeah, I mean the movie opens up November eighth, but there's going to be other nationwide uh, advanced screenings November second. But again, like you know, for the both for the uh, the fa- the chance that you get to meet Liz. Um, mm-hmm. But I, you know, for me, the the fact that we are get we get all of that plus we're doing this for a good cause to to yeah. really genuinely help people that are in need in our area. Um, I can't think of a better better way to spend a Saturday night. How cool is it that you could do this almost on an annual basis, you know, where you could do the fundraiser, right. yeah. you know, have another special screening, have an, have an actor or an actress show up, you know? I love that uh, idea. Yeah. That's yeah. Great. And well, I don't know how this all fell into your lap, Nate, uh, but obviously uh, certain things uh, yeah. fell right. Yeah, they did. Yeah. I, well, I'm an uh, old college friend of Dallas. Uh, okay. Stayed connected and um, director, right? He's the director, yeah, and creator of the Chosen. And I said, "Hey, how about this? What about this for a crazy idea? We yeah. take this movie about a small town doing a Christmas pageant, yeah, and have a premiere of it in a small town that's done a Christmas pageant, and do it for this cause." And he's like, mm-hmm. "All right, I love it." 
uh, how about Liz comes out and she said, yes, it all came yes. together. So we are, yeah, we're really looking forward to the night. Just curious when it, uh, when you talk about, you know, like you said, this was a book, uh, for the longest time. And then of course, a lot of people do it theatrical, uh, on a play. How long did it take them to put this movie together? How long did it take them? Oh, uh, good question. I mean, I, with, I think this was like a two, three month shoot. I believe okay. like that's typically the average for a lot of, uh, you know, uh, feature length films. I think it was probably right around there. It might've been a little bit less, uh, you know, they're getting so efficient in the, in the, yeah. in the movie making world. Um, right. but right. you know, your bigger, your bigger, uh, blockbuster movies that have a lot, whole sure. lot more production and take longer, but yeah. So they, they were actually wrap starting production on, on filming this, Right when we wrapped up our our uh, the the theatrical version of it last year here in Forest City, which kind of yeah. put the put the idea in my head. I'm sure you're getting ready for 2025 already for Brick Street Theater, and yes, uh, we are Bowman Fine Arts Center as well. So, yeah, uh, there's going to be some there's going to be some production. There'll be our usual shows um, at the Bowman. Right. Um, but we just we just announced our 2025 season. Brick Street okay. did. So if okay. you go to brickstreettheater.org, you can see all about well, the shows that we're going to be doing. Okay. Um, I, I, I could I could tease a few of them out here. Mama Mia is going to be ha- going to be on oh, stage. Oh man, they're going to love that one. Yes, yes. Uh, we we have uh, nonsense. I gotta say, just, just a second, Nate. I got to tell yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. There's a song that became popular on TikTok all over again. And I have, it was about two years ago. Okay. And I have played a Gimme, Gimme, Gimme by yes. Alma. It's 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 on the playlist of all the, the weddings that I've done in the last two years. Okay. <laughs> it's crazy. Okay. All right. Well, then you're, you're going to come audition then, right? No, I guess so. Sure. Why not? Okay. All Everybody right. Everybody loves right. Alma. Come on. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So it's it, the it's going to be a great, fun, full, full, crazy season of That's of fun. plays, musicals, Christmas shows. So go yeah. check out the Bowman Fine Arts, or sorry, BrickStreetTheater.org mm-hmm. for all of the Brick Street shows. Yeah. But visit BowmanFineArtsCenter.org to get your tickets for this event on the twenty sixth. Yeah, get your tickets for this. And obviously, is there a way to maybe become members of uh the Bowman Brick Arts Street? Fine Arts? Uh, or, uh at Brick, Brick Street, 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 yes. Yeah, Brick Street, yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And we're not to confuse people. So the Bowman Fine Arts Center is a place that is is the uh, is yeah, it's the the venue in town here. It's a it's beautiful six hundred seat theater. And Brick Street, um, we're we're partnered with them on doing our larger, uh, larger productions there. Uh, we have our own theater space on the south side of Forest City, um, but um, but yeah, like you can you can become a a member. You can get your season tickets for 2025. You can actually save save money that way and make sure your tickets are reserved for the upcoming season. So do that. I would think, Nate, you would even. This would be a draw for many people, and I mean, they might even drive an hour to two hours away just to kind of come to something like this. And I would and- think so too. I'm gonna, you know, when once once the I'm gonna be hosting the evening, and so once you know, before we you know flip the switch and watch watch the movie together, I'm gonna I I'm gonna ask everybody where where they're coming from. So I I will um I will give uh, uh I will. I will come up with some special prize for the person that comes from the farthest away. Farthest way, way. Right now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah. Well, Nate, it is so good to catch up with you. We need to talk. Yeah, we need to do more of these uh, throughout the year, like quarterly updates of what's going on, you know, with uh, Brick Street Theater and also the Bowman Fine Arts. Yeah, let's and, do it. And we'll do it. But if everybody goes to BowmanFineArtsCenter.org, uh, register for those tickets and then make sure you bring either money or some uh, non-perishable food items to get in and yeah, otherwise yeah. there's no cost for the tickets but they do no, need not. you i yeah. would i would think are they on sale right or i mean are they can you register right now absolutely yes okay. yeah and seats seats have already we're already starting to fill up right fill up so but we want to again like i would love to see every single one of those seats filled yeah. and so because like, the the big 
the big goal here, right, is to get uh, bring the 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 joy of Christmas in right. a real way out to people that are uh, might be in need this holiday right. season. So take take what we're seeing in that movie and and bring it to real life. That's what we want to do. And how cool is it? It's right before all the holidays. <laughs> yes, exactly. So we're gonna yeah. So we're gonna knock out Thanksgiving yeah. and Christmas. Yeah. Yep. There you go. There you how go. about that? All right. It's the best Christmas pageant ever. A special screening that mm -hmm. is happening on Saturday, October 26th at the Bowman Fine Arts Center. Go to bowmanfineartscenter.org for all the info and obviously register to uh, get your tickets. And then don't forget to uh, either bring some money, bring a Benjamin, man, bring a Benjamin to just Do give it. it to him. And that'll fill, that'll go a long ways. As I said earlier, money goes much further because they yeah. get to buy in bulk as well. So. Yep. And a lot of different area food pantries are going to benefit yes. by this. So, yeah, Nate, thanks for catching up, and uh, we'll get we'll we'll visit again soon. And I hope you All have right. a great turnout. Okay. Yeah, thank you so much, Harry. Appreciate you. You got it. Yeah, All right, happy harvest, everybody. There you go, Fox Four One One and Kiss Country Neighborhood News.